What up, Poke Cave? It's a dollar store kind of day because we're going to be heading over to Dollar General. We're going to see what kind of Pokemon cards they have in stock. I did hear that they had new mini tins that have the potential for Cosmic Eclipse and maybe some other packs like Evolving Skies. I don't really know, but there's only one way to find out, so let's head out. Looks like Christmas threw up in here at least. Ooh, oh my God, what happened to Frosty? He's got three faces. Is this normal? Nah, it can't be normal. All right, they usually have them at the front. It might be behind the counter. It might be to the side. Let's see what we got. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, Gardevoir? Okay. Sounds like a Gardevoir mini tin. One or two special foils, three packs, and a code card. So I heard they might have Cosmic in these and some other older packs. So we definitely got to grab this. And then do they have the other version of... There should be a different... Oh, Bliss. Oh, that's such a cool artwork. Okay. Blissey as well. Should be the same thing on this one. Three packs, the code card, and then that foil. Oh, they got some Pokeballs. These are pretty pricey. 15 bucks? Um, I kind of want to grab a couple of these just to see what's in them. Um, let's grab that. Let's go with the classic as well. Um, these usually have three packs inside, and then the thing is with these, you just kind of never know what's in them, depending on what print run they are and all that stuff. Cool thing about these is it says 2020 as the date on the side of these. So I don't know if these could be two, three years old maybe, or if they just didn't change the date, but let's grab that. And then I want to get you guys something as well. So here's a Blissey that I'll give away sealed to one subscriber. All you gotta do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Number three, leave a comment in the comment section. And then let's grab one of these Pikachu mini tins. And we gotta go with the Quaxley. All right, let's bring us back to the Poke Cave and let's see what we get. And we're back in the studio. Let's open up the stuff that we just grabbed. All right, so we got all of our selection in front of us here. Um, we have the two tins, and then, of course, we have the two mini tins, and then we have these two Pokeballs that were $15 each. And then, don't forget, we also have this extra Blissey tin that I'm going to be giving away to one subscriber, so make sure you enter the giveaway for that. But first, I think we should just start off here and open up the OG Pokeball and see what cards and packs are actually going to be inside this. And then, don't forget, I have heard and seen that it is possible, I think, to get Cosmic Eclipse and uh, I think some other older packs, maybe Evolving Skies. I'm not really sure, but we'll save those for a little bit later. But let's get started here with our first item. All right, so the Pokeball. You never kind of know what you're going to get out of these until you actually open them up and uh, kind of see what's inside because they just make so many of these. And they're, they're basically, they're just really hard to kind of tell the difference between which printing. And even a lot of them that are the same printing will have different packs in them just because they switch it up and they just kind of keep the same theme and idea. But all right, this Pokeball is pretty dirty, but that's all right. We just want to see what packs we have in here. Let's see what we got. $15, what's it going to get us? All right, so, so far on the front here, we have a Silver Tempest booster back. And remember, when you get the Pokeballs, the packs are kind of like crushed a little bit. So if you're trying to get like perfect condition packs, do not buy these. Also, we do have a Charizard coin in here, which is pretty nice. Anyway, we have Silver Tempest, we have Lost Origin, and then, oh, two Lost Origins. So, a Silver Tempest and two Lost Origin in here. Not too bad. Would you grab this for $15, though? I'm, I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section. Let's start off with a Lost Origin pack. I mean, I like that we have packs that have nice pull rates, which is pretty sweet. So, let's see what we got here. We'll go four from the back to the front. If you guys purchased anything from dollar stores, there's only a few that have these nowadays. Um... I think they're, I forget the, the other name of the other dollar store, Dollar Tree maybe or something like that, where uh, they just stopped selling Pokemon cards. They used to have the dollar packs and stuff like that. They're just completely gone. They haven't had those, honestly, in over two years now, I think it's been. Colors is experiment. Those were always cool, but you can't find them anymore. I think they were more of a problem because people would go in and try to weigh them and then leave all the lights there and stuff like that. And it was, it was kind of a mess in that way because so many people did it. And then also... I don't really know, but I think that would probably be the main reason, to be honest. So hopefully they bring them back at some point, and they just make it so they can't be weighed, maybe. That was the big issue. Pro Gunk, we got Solosis Zubat. Come on, baby. Let's get a pull. There we go. Serena Full Art on this second packet. All right, so it's like a $20 card. I guess so far our $15 Pokeball has been a success. I think in total we spent like $75 there. Uh, one of the items was a giveaway, so we'll say maybe it's about... $65 total for all the stuff that we're opening up in today's video. So not bad. Actually, really good start so far. Let's get it. We got Lost City. Makuita. We're doing another Lost Origin pack. Then we move on to our next item. Oh, my God. Wait, what is going on here? That's the... Uh, oh, okay. It's in the trainer gallery for a second. I was like, what's happening? We got bosses orders for our back-to-back -back hits. All right, let's see if we can keep the luck going on our second one. After this one, though, what I want to do is go into those other tins that might have some cool packs in it 
Uh, but here we go. Our second Pokeball should be the same, probably. Um, let's check it out, though. Okay, here we go. We got our packs. There's a coin. It's going to be the Charizard coin. That's a solid coin to get in there. Obviously, it's Charizard. Um, and then our packs, Silver Tempest, Lugia Pack Artwork, Lost Origin, and Lost Origin again. So yeah, for $15, I think it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not bad at all. You get a Pokeball with it and a coin as well on top of the packs. So, let's go, baby. Let's see what we got here. All right, should we look? Ooh, nice. Dude, I'm on a roll today. I was actually filming a different type of video with somebody earlier. I don't want to spoil anything, but I was just pulling fire, dude. Like, like even crazier than this. Like, today is just super lucky for me. So, let's continue the luck, baby. Finian. Oh, shift free regular hollow. All right, let's do Silver Tempest next. See if we could possibly get that Lugia. I mean, that's what everybody wants to pull out of that anyway. Silver Tempest Lugia, that's just like, that's where it's at. One of the coolest Lugia cards ever made, honestly. Vestrevis, Swablu, Phoebus. Regidrago, V-Star, we'll take it. All right, V-Star going in, and that's a, it's another solid pull, but let's see if our Lost Origin pack can bring us the goods. I want to pull, like, the Ultra Network Aerodactyl, just... Off of a one-off pack just randomly. I think that would be super cool. I mean, obviously, it'd be sick, but the odds of that happening, pretty low. Even though my luck today is pretty solid. We got ooh, Radiance, Gardevoir. Oh, my God, dude. What is today? Bolo Full Art as well. Dude, let's go. Look at this, man. We are just killing it. But now, I'm so interested in these. Um, both of these artworks are sick. I really like this Blissey artwork in particular. Let's do it. All right, the Blissey Mini Tins. Get in tune with powerful Pokemon. In this team, you'll find one of two special foils and three booster packs. Let's do it. All right, the suspense right now is killing me. What is going to be inside of here? I've seen what I believe to have be Cosmic Eclipse in these. But is it really going to be in here? All right, here we go. First off, we have our beautiful Blissey Hollow card. Oh, man, that looks really good. 2018 date on the bottom of this thing. All right, that looks good. That looks good. You get that right in there. Look at that hollow pattern. And then we do got our code card there. Let's throw a sleeve on this one, put it to the side, and then let's check out the packs that we get inside of this thing. All right, so Blissey, what do you got for us? I do see on the top here a Lost Origin booster pack. A nice start on that. And then behind it, a Sworded Shield base set. No way, what? I actually was not expecting that at all. These are getting pretty old. And then... Rebel Clash is thrown in here, too? That's interesting. All right, so we have, like, some of the earlier Sword and Shield sets, which a lot of people weren't huge fans. Actually, Sword and Shield base is not too too bad. Rebel Clash, a lot of people don't really like, but they're getting pretty expensive. I think Rebel Clash boxes are kind of a lot now, and even Sword and Shield base. And then Lost Origin is always amazing. So there are no Cosmic Eclipse packs in this one, unfortunately. Still a really cool tin and still packs to open up. Yeah, look at this. I mean, uh, it's around $250 a buy. Oh my God. I didn't even. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> look at this thing. Uh, since November 7th, this went from 220 ish to 223 And then the last year, I guess it shot up. But yeah, it just keeps. I mean, like, it's just how it is. Like, even if it's not like the best set ever, you know, it just gets harder and harder to find this stuff. And then the same thing with Sword Shield Base. It's even older and it's almost it's like $300. Uh, about a year ago, it was about, yeah, it's still expensive a year ago, even $240. And it's gone up, came down a little bit lately, but yeah, it's, it's in like the $300 range right now. Uh, I don't know. Actually, kind of surprising. I didn't realize it was that high. I was thinking they were probably pushing like a little under 200 ish, but. I don't know. I can't pay attention to everything that's going on. There's just so much stuff in this hobby. But either way, um, I don't, I don't, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't make up the rules. I, don't just, I just look at stuff, and I just tell you guys what I see. Cedra, Clefairy. We got Spinarak, Litwick, Rosalia, and Jew. <laughs> BMQ. Oh, that's a nice artwork. It might not be Cosmic in there. It might not be Evolving Skies. But honestly, we got some older packs. I mean, Sword Shield Base literally four years old by the way i'm filming this on december 2nd you're probably not going to see it on december 2nd you're definitely not going to see it on december 2nd but the channel just turned four years old exactly december 2nd uh 2019 is when the channel started four years thank you guys so much for, this, for all the support over the years i hope that uh i don't know i just hope that you guys enjoy the content and uh makes my day if you guys enjoy it and it makes my day if we oh, i was gonna say we got it all right rebel clash what do we got on this one? And then we're going to move on to the Gardevoir. I'm going to assume same packs, but you never know. You, I don't know how they distribute the stuff. 
We got full heal. Scyther, nose pass, wingle, coughing. Sir Skit, and a regular Grim Snarl Hollow. But well, let's see what Gardevoir has in store for us here. Come on. All right. Let's see how we do on this team. All right, so we're going to have the promo card here, which is going to be the Gardevoir Hollow. Very nice, very clean. We got that code card there. It's called a Strong Bond Tin, Gardevoir. I didn't know that's what the, na the name of these tins were. But what we have here, it seems to be, it's probably going to be the same, I think. We have Lost Origin, Sword Shield Base, and Rebel Clash it is. All right, let's go through these packs. And then, don't forget, we got two mini tins to end out this video. And guess what, guys? I will say it right now. If you made it this far in the video, I'm just going to give you a little info. Within one day to two days, we'll be opening up the brand new Japanese set. The shiny set that everybody's been waiting for. I cannot wait to do that. It's going to be such a cool video. All right, we got a Zorark V. Not bad. All right, next up, we're going to do Sword and Shield base set. Let's see how we go with this. Come on, try to look at the code card. Oh, it's the classic green code card. So this is definitely not like a reprint or anything. They must have these sitting around for a while. Um, Because that's an old code card. So I don't know how they get these packs and stuff or what the deal is. But, I mean, it's literally direct from Pokemon's warehouses. But I still don't know if they just have giant stacks of packs sitting around. I really don't know how it works. Lucky Egg. Dreadnought. The dreaded Dreadnought. Luckily, no mimes today. But we got a Rebel Clash pack to end it. And then we'll see what's in those final two Little mini tin, Sword Shield, Rebel Clash, Code Card going out. They're going to go one, two, three, four. You know what? I could tell, like, how much the quality has changed on these cards over the years. Just looking on the back of these early Sword and Shield cards, you could tell, like, it's just such a different quality standard back then compared to now. So, I don't know. It is what it is. It's interesting to notice. We got Toxel, Magikarp. Come on. Bring me the fire. Continue the luck. Alright, that tin was not too good. Well, guys, the mini tins did not have cosmic or bobbing skies or anything else like that. But right now, we got two mini tins to end out this video. Alright, so let's start off with the Pikachu. What is this? Dollar General. This item is intended for sale at Dollar General. Whoa, that's weird. Is that on the outside of it? Oh, it is on the outside of it. Okay. I don't know why they have a sticker on there like that. Like, they're super... This is for Dollar General only. Sorry, guys. Can't sell it anywhere else. Okay, is that a security seal? I don't... Or maybe it's just so you can't peel it off without ripping it. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't think it's a security thing. All right, but here we go. Pikachu, what do we got here? Here we go. We got our Pikachu little card here. Oh, okay, I guess they threw it in. Oh, no, this is a sticker. Yeah, the sticker version. I believe it's a sticker. Yeah, sticker version. Scarlet and Violet base set right here. Did I show you guys on the right camera? I feel like I was looking up on that one. Here you go, there's two stickers. I don't know what I was doing there for a second. Scarlet and Violet Base and Silver Tempest? All right, not bad. I did pull some fire today in a Scarlet and Violet Base set pack out of one pack. Um, let's see how we do on this one. Quaxly to start it off here. Come on, baby. The Lechonk. Raptor Growlithe Floet. Oh, the Dondozo Regular Hollow. And then we have Silver Tempest. Let's see how we do on this one. Should we look at the code card? Oh, no. That's probably going to be nothing unless we get a trainer gallery pull. No, we don't. Incineroar sleeping. All right. All right, Quaxley. It all comes down to you, buddy. Let's see if we can end this with a banger here. If I can get this open. There we go. All right. Do we have the same packs? So I think I took these out of two different tin displays. They had two back there. So we got that and the sticker. And then Scarlet Mouth Base and Silver Tempest with the Lugia pack artwork to end it. All right. We're going to do Scarlet and Violet Base. And then we're going to end it out. Why is this code card so... feels like it's like messed up a little bit. It's not very sharp. Looks like they messed it up a little bit. Doesn't matter though. One, two, three, four. In the back to the... No, that wasn't supposed to happen like that. Let's just take a couple more and pretend like that didn't happen. All right, here we go. I have no idea when the rare is going to come up. <laughs> Metasite. Uh, should we enter this one maybe? Quaxley. Bayonet. Regular EX pull. Now... Silver Tempest to end this thing. Let's see if we can get one more big pool. Here we go. Sword Shield, Silver Tempest. We're going to go four on this one. Let's see what we get on our final booster pack. Here we go. Venomoth. Dratini, Clink, Stunkfisk, Esper, Indeedee. And the final card is going to be 
R cannot be ending it with a little bit of fire, baby. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. And if you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.